Good day, everybody. Uh, Jeffrey here at Access Vapor Honing Industries doing a little display or setup on the hydrocyclone. A um, couple of questions that have been asked is uh, on connecting the hydrocyclone, some people were asking about a quicker way. It, it literally only takes me a minute to unhook the holes from the gun, hook it on the hydrocyclone, and tighten it up. Um, now, a few things. Uh, a lot of you only need one pail of media, 25 pounds, um, dry, but in a wet case, I picked up these um, Home Depot tote seven gallons, and I'll explain the reason why. Um, I did put a couple bulkhead fittings on and a nipple. Um, that's going to play a role in a future video and in this video. Um... This way it just keeps everything a little bit cleaner and neater. You'll see it here when I do the second video. But um, at home I was using pails. I'll probably just use this tote now. Because um, I use three of these buckets of media in my machines. Um, where a lot of you are only using like one. So I actually have two of these made up. Um, I dry fitted it or dry filled last night. Um, and I think I'm down to about five gallons of media, but I have over six gallons of media in here. So I made up two totes, be a little bit easier to handle. And the first tote, we're just going to fill it up and then take it out. The second tote, we're going to run it for a while and I'll explain that when we're running the second tote. But this is my setup. It takes you literally two minutes to go put together. And then we just st step on the foot pedal and walk away from Come back 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes later. It don't matter. But that's my setup. Here, let's get this pail out of the way. We don't need that. All right, stay tuned for video two.